Hi, good morning to everyone. Uh, thanks again to uh, for listening to, to this uh, lecture about vascular access in pediatrics. Uh, a few of you might, might be wondering what's what's so uh, unique about this topic and why would I talk about this? Vascular access in pediatrics is probably the most frustrating, time-consuming uh, intervention for uh, for uh, an anesthetist particularly in small children. Not only that, for the child, it, it is uh, it's a terrifying experience. So it's something which they, they definitely don't enjoy and that's one intervention uh, based on which they don't want to come to a hospital or see a doctor or a healthcare worker. So uh, any injections is going to scare a child, not even in adults, it's, it's quite uh, uh, difficult to get a needle in but in child I think it's it can be quite frightening for them. So we need to try and make make this experience as smooth as possible. So uh, in this uh, lecture what I would try and cover is uh, different kinds of vascular axis uh, starting with peripheral IV axis, central venous axis, uh, pick lines, uh, intraosseous axis and arterial cannulation. So we all know that the basics uh, indications for vascular axis uh, it could be just for inducing uh, uh, a patient for anesthesia and surgery or uh, you could get a call from the ward saying that this child has got a difficult access we need antibiotics for the next week we need some kind of uh, uh, intravenous access for that uh, you could get call from the intensive care for a central line for a parental nutrition or in an emergency where they find it difficult to get an access uh, in the emergency room you might get called so uh, how is it different from adult patients one is uh, the main thing is they are uncooperative, so uh, you that's that's going to be difficult. Yeah, you you need to cannulate a moving child, or you need to restrain a child and try and do it. So it's not a nice experience at all, is it? Come coming to the anatomical reasons, is uh, it, they have a smaller diameter. Uh, they could have a, a lot of uh, fat, subcutaneous fat, in some children, so um, it can be more difficult to cannulate these children. And the veins, uh, actually the diameter of the veins are small and uh, compared to an adult child, you may not uh, feel them in small children, but you can see sort of a, a sort of a, a greenish tinge where the veins are situated. For the same reason that you need to, uh, when you can lead small children, gloves may be a hindrance to, to palpate the vein and cannulate them. So uh, you might have to do it without gloves. Before you do a cannulation, you use skin disinfectants of various kinds. So what do you use in a hospital? So these are three different things which we could use. Some people also use uh, povidone iodine, but in our hospital we have all these uh, different uh, mix. Uh, 